in a game with Travis. I mean, it's been a while since both of you guys were at the same time. Yeah, having Travis back is a huge aspect. Um, or is a huge, uh, he's a huge asset to our team. Uh, not only is he a great football player, he's a great teammate, he's a great leader. Um, so it was great to have him back, and it's nice to um, have some fresh legs in there, so to say. It's nice to get a break, you know, once in a while. And it was also kind of nice to get back into our uh, two tight end personnel a little bit more than we're used to um, with a guy like Travis in there. So all around, it was uh, it was great to see him back out there on the field. I know you're not making the game plan, but in camp before he went down, did you think, <clears throat> thinking to yourself, like, hey, we're going to use two tight ends, the two of us, a lot over the course of the season? Yeah, he... Um, Frost finds a lot of ways to get get his guys on the field and what he feels best with, and I mean, it seems like we're successful with two tight ends on the field. So um, it's not necessarily we did that more in fall camp. It's just whatever's working, we're going to roll with it, and so you can find a way to stop it. We're going to we're going to keep doing it. So it's kind of nice to it's like I said, it's nice to get him back out on the field. It, it kind of opens up a lot of things um, in the run game. Opens up a lot of things in the pass game because I mean he's pretty versatile out in the out in the route tree as well. Did you know when did you know you're gonna play Saturday? How's the body feeling? I guess yeah, it, feels, it feels pretty good. Um, I knew Thursday I was gonna play, so um, just had to fall back on your training a little bit. Didn't necessarily get the reps that week. Um, that what I, didn't didn't necessarily get the reps that week than what from what I'm used to. Um, but all the training we've done for the past month and a half helped me to get to that point. But the Oklahoma game, it's a it's a bruiser. It's um, they're a tough football team. We're a tough football team. We went out and played some smash mouth football. And uh, uh, we felt it. They felt it. It's just a football game. When you guys watch back the film of the penalties, uh, did you see anything differently from, from what you felt after the game? And, and how do you curb that going forward other than just committing penalties? Yeah, it's 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 got to be a, a self-disciplinary thing at this point. It can't be so much me saying, you got to stop jumping off sides. It's, it's got to be. I got to own it. I got to stop jumping off sides. It's it's um, like I, I've been saying. It's, it can't be no more say we're going to do it. It's got to be us do it. And um, there's some some ownership that some guys need to take. And it's just the way people got to move forward um, with that. What was that discussion like? Just as an offense, watching that film back from yeah, a it's it was it was a little frustrating for me. Um, I mean, we knew they were going to stand in the fronts. We knew it was going to be loud in there. We knew um, their linebackers were going to give a move call, and it, it still, we still fell for it, which is undisciplined by us. But um, it was frustrating looking back and watching it, but um, we still got a lot of things accomplished on offense that I was happy with. So um, we'll we learn from it, and it's all we can do at this point. What's your early impressions of Michigan State? I mean, obviously, they're off to a good start. Yeah, it's. Um, they're a really good football team. They're off to a hot start. Mel, Tuck, Mel Tucker's got them dialed up at this point. They're three and zero. They went down to a tough environment in Miami and got a, got the job done. They handled it pretty well. Um, so we got to handle our business the same way we w we did last week. Same way we're going to handle it next week. Got to treat every game like it's a Big Ten championship. And right now we're playing Michigan State in the Big Ten championship. That's that's how I'm treating it um, this week. So um, they're a great football team, and we got to prepare like rightfully so. Like they're a Big Ten. Or, yeah. I know you said before the season, uh, even at Big Ten Media Days, that was your mindset. Every week's a championship. That's how you were going to be. Do you think your other teammates sort of followed suit with that? Yeah, it's kind of been my motto. I've been kind of trying to speak that into existence on the team a little bit. Um, I think I need to be a little more vocal with making sure that's everybody's mindset, not just mine. Um, especially as a captain on this team, you gotta um, you got to put your vision into, in what, into your teammates' minds of what you want to get accomplished and how you want to accomplish it. And, um, that is that's been my mindset this year is treat every every week like a Big Ten championship. Garrett Nelson had some words about kind of trying to pick up Connor Cole, you know, after a tough game. And when you know one of those games where people are kind of pointing a finger at somebody, what do you do as a captain or hate to to help that person out or try to get over it? Yeah, it's I mean it's I know Connor's frustrated because in practices he hits those he hits those all the time and I think it's it might be a thing where it's a little bit between the years and I. I Flashing back a little bit here, but I'm following suit with that. In high school, I'd, <laughs> I'd never airballed a free throw in my life until my <laughs> senior year, and I did it about the fifth game of my senior year. I did six that year just because it was between the years. So um, we got people in the staff that could help um, calm nerves. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it, what it is with Connor. I haven't really talked to him yet, but Connor's a great kicker, and he's going to make kicks. And uh, um, 
he's just he, he'll get it figured out. I guess it's <coughs> the rushing total wasn't a big number. Um, you struggle consistently sometimes, but are there things that you can take from the way you ran the ball and and the stuff that worked against Oklahoma and, and take it forward? Yeah, um, we got a lot of different stuff dialed up every week, and last week we had a package with Teddy Prashashka as, as a tight end, which was. Cool to see him in there. It's cool to see him get reps. Um, he did really well um, watching film going back. And uh, we were pretty successful at that package. So um, there's some things that we could work on in the run game from Oklahoma. There's some things that worked really well for us that we can build on. So um, that we need to, like I said, we need to have a great week of practice this week and hopefully get that run game started for Michigan State. Hey, on the miss extra point, you're out there on that unit, right? You, yep. You yep. limped off, I think, on that one. I did. I uh, <laughs> went to redirect to go make a play on the ball. And there was, I didn't see an Oklahoma guy laying right there. And I stepped around on his foot and rolled my ankle. But if I had a dollar for every time I rolled my ankle, I'd probably buy a car by now. So. Um. When you watch that playback, was it a low kicker? Did they get an inside push you wouldn't? Yeah, it was, it was, there, was some, there was some poor technique on the inside. Um, we'll get that dialed up. It was um, a lack of focus, probably, um, just on this technique. And um, Got blocked. It's, I mean, we just can learn from it now. We can't go back and change it. Big Ten slate the rest of the way. You've been through these now a number of times. What what marks Big Ten football as unique, and what's the challenge in staying fresh here for the rest of the way? Yeah, it's. I mean, Frost does a pretty good job of keeping us healthy and taking care of us during the week. He knows that um, we're on week five now, and our body's going to feel that way. Um, so he can trim up his practices the way he feels like it. And then, I mean, we got eight. Eight Big Ten games now. I mean, it's it's go time. Let's win. let's go. Um, take it week by week and see how much noise we can make. Um, it's all we can do. Um, but I'm excited to get this new chapter started. Really, with just straight Big Ten games now. Um, but uh, Frost will take care of us. Austin having back-to-back -back road games does that kind of hold you guys back from getting into a pretty good routine, or maybe making more of that than what it really is? Uh, no, it's. I mean. It's football. You got road games. You got home games. Um, it's gonna be kind of cool playing a night game. First time we've done that in a little bit. Um, it's gonna be a little different for us, but it's a cool experience, especially on a road. See a new environment. Um, feed off that energy that Michigan State's gonna bring, um, and that's all we all we really can do. But um, playing grass back to back is is I like that, and especially when it's warm. It's not like you're landing on concrete. So um, I'm excited to see what Michigan, see what we. How we prepare this week for Michigan State? Why do you like playing on grass? I think it's just I like it. It's better. Um, it's easier to make cuts. It feels better on your joints, really. Uh, I mean, I feel like I'm 60 now, but um, <laughs> no, it's uh, there's just something about the aesthetic of playing football on grass too. I don't know. It's, As a as a captain, you know, sometimes big games you put a lot into it, and then there's kind of a natural letdown. But is it a good thing to have a Big Ten game right away so you guys can? stay up and, and are you confident you guys will meet that challenge emotionally yeah I, I don't see I don't see based on the practice today us having any letdown from what we did um, last week I mean yeah we lost but there's a lot of positives we can take from a game like that Oklahoma's a really good football team and uh, um, I mean we went stride for stride with them in every statistical category we just got to take care of some things here and there and I mean it's that's a victory for us but um, I think a lot of our guys see that and they're, we're gonna um, use that as some ladder fluid for this week and, and get this thing started off right. All good.